Hey everyone, so welcome back to what I'm hoping is the last cleaning video. This stage can be a little bit delicate uh, and sometimes issues emerge that I'm not anticipating and so I'm hoping I get it done in one recording, but who knows. All right, what are we doing? Our goal here is to have one row per model of shoe. So I want to have one Hoka Bondi 7. I want to have one on Cloud 5. And if you think back to when we were scraping the web page, we had 200 and some odd models of shoes, right? And now we've got 5,000 rows of data, and I want to get back down to one row per model of shoe. I want to get back down to 200 and some odd rows. So now what we have is a bunch of virtual duplicates, right? like Hoka, Bondi 7, same price, same MSRP, same number reviews, right? Everything's the same. The only thing that is now different is this web scrape order because they're going, we have them sorted from highest to lowest, but each, we're getting a, a different listing for each one as it was downloaded from the web page. All right, I want to maintain this order because it tells us what's the most popular or the highest selling shoe. But I need to kind of get rid of this because I need to be able to delete duplicates. And Excel has a function, remove duplicates, that'll remove all the duplicate values, but this is standing in the way because these aren't duplicates. Like check it out, if I, if I click remove duplicates, my list has headers, everything's checked, I say okay, and it's gonna say no, there's no duplicates. And the reason for that is because of this web scrape order. So I'm gonna just delete this. Before you delete it, make sure that you really are sorted on web scrape order in terms of values from Z to A and that your best selling shoe, the Hoka Bondi 7, is on top. Then you'll delete the web scraper order. And now, truly, for each shoe, we've got a duplicate for each review it received. Now we'll remove the duplicates. Okay, oh look, 5,763 duplicate values found and removed, 229 unique values remain. Right, we've got back down to that 229 models of shoes that we had and we are still in the order of best selling to worst selling. I can see a few places we're gonna have some trouble in a second, but let's not panic yet. Let's start by inserting a column where we make an order of best selling. I'm just gonna say sales order, and we're going from the best selling to the worst selling. I'm just gonna start typing one through five and then I'm going to highlight my one through five and I'm going to right click. And now we've got a list, a ranking. And actually sales order, let's call it sales ranking from our best selling shoe to our worst selling shoe. Now we've got those shoes still organized from best selling to worst selling. So not all shoes have reviews. We can see some of these where they've got blanks, right? And shoes that haven't been reviewed are not going to be useful for our analysis. And so we're going to delete ones that are blanks. And it seems to me that the easiest way maybe to do this would be to make a note, to use our filter function, and find places where TTS or TTW or MAS are blank. So I'll insert a filter. And I'll go to TTS. And I will find blanks. And I'll apply the filter. And so if we have no review for these. You can see also that all of our reviews are you know, frequently nonsense. 
And in these shoes, in some of these shoes, there are some reviews, but there are no true to size, true to width, or arch support reviews, and no style and comfort reviews. Probably all of these reviews came from an outside web page. We are going to remove these because they aren't going to add anything to the value of our analysis. And I'm just going to do that by clearing the contents. Then I'm going to remove my filter. Then I'm going to go back up and I'm going to sort by... Hmm. Auto Recover has been disabled for this version of Excel. Click Save. And it's thinking. And the Wheel of Death is spinning. Try sharing to a different file. We're having a crisis. We are going to save to the desktop. So I'm going to save it to the desktop so I have it. And then I'm going to try to save it back to my original location. Um, that's going to take me a second. I just hate losing files. OK, fine. OK, perfect. I don't care. All right, now I'm going to go back and sort these according to sales ranking. So we cleared some values, so we will be missing some sales rankings. And that's OK. Sort by sales ranking. My list has headers. OK, great. And now I just want to look for any more kind of nonsense values. Now there's only 200 and some odd. I can really scan them. Aha, I've got one here. Adidas running. It's got 145 reviews. True to style, true to width, but I bet it only has one comfort and style rating. This is where there's a little bit of judgment involved. Do I keep that value or do I delete it? Um, but there's probably only one person there's 145 people that reviewed it. We get this overall star rating, but there's probably only one person that reviewed for comfort and style. And so we aren't going to be able to compare comfort and style to that overall rating because there just isn't very much. So I'm clearing contents on that one. And I'm eyeballing the rest. And I'm hoping that's OK. And then I'm going to do sort again. Oh my gosh. And I think this data set is looking pretty darn clean. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format these titles so that when we put them in charts and they show up as variable names on the charts, they've got either sentence case or title case. We don't want price lowercase p on an axis. So everything is getting title case. Sales ranking, brand, model, price, MSRP, number of reviews, TTS, TTW, MAS. Then I'm saving this thing because I'm feeling a little anxious. And this is my clean data. Item moved. I might have to play with that for a second, but that is looking good. OK, C clean data. We did it. You did it. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, see you later.